Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk to you about watercolor. If you are a beginner or you ever used watercolor before and you find it very difficult to use, I think this video is perfect for you. I want to talk to you about basic watercolor technique that you can use to create your own artwork. So without further ado, let's do this. So to start off, we need some supplies. Firstly, paper. I suggest you use watercolor paper. In this video, I am using 300 GSM watercolor paper. Next, you will need paint. You can use watercolor tube or watercolor pens. Here, I will be using Winsor & Newton's Cotman watercolor pens. If you are using watercolor tube, don't forget to get a palette. Although I have already got some palette from my pen set, I still need some additional palette when I'm painting. Next, you will need some brushes. In this tutorial, I will be using round brush. Next, you will need some towel or tissue papers. This will be used to dry your white brushes and wipes away excess water. Lastly, you will need a cup of water or jar. For me, I will make it two. One is for dirty water and paint and the other one for clean water. In this tutorial, I will just talking about two type of watercolor technique. There are wet on wet and wet on dry. If you are starter, these two techniques will really help you a lot when making artwork. And after mastering these two techniques, you can mix them up and create an awesome effect. First, let us start with wet on wet watercolor technique. The technique is when you apply wet paint on the wet surface. So for the first one, let's wet the surface of the paper generously. Here I'm making a square shape with clean water. When the surface is still wet, let's apply a generous amount of paint. Here I'm using blue color. With the soft touch on the wet surface, the paint will be easily transferred from the tip of our brush and the paint will slowly disperse into the area and shape which you have painted with water. And eventually it dries up to stay in the paper and create a soft effect. Now let's make the new wet surface. In the second wet surface, we will use two color. Here I am using blue and red color. Do the same thing like the first wet area. Here I am making two dots of blue color with a distance between them. And while the surface is still wet, I am putting two dots of red color near the blue color. After that, you can blend those color while it is wet to create bleeds and gradient effect. The next one is still wet on wet technique, but we will make a flat wash color. First, we need to make wet surface with clean water. For the flat wash color, I am still using blue color. To make a flat wash color, you need to paint from one direction. And I suggest you to paint from top to bottom of the wet surface. Make sure your brush has generous amount of paint, so you will not run out of paint in the way of making the flat wash because it will make the flat wash area doesn't get equal amount of paint. The advantage of using wet on wet technique is it is us to blend color and really good for coloring a background and for making the first layer of our paint. Now it's time for wet on dry watercolor technique. It is where you apply wet paint in dry surface. The purpose of wet on dry watercolor technique is for making a strong and bold color 
and defining shape and form. And it is also good for making outline and creating details. Now, let's try to make a square shape with wet on dry watercolor technique. As you can see, the color is really bold and strong and produce divining shape and form. But the color is not as even as the flat wash that we created with wet on wet watercolor technique. Although you can make the color even with wet on dry technique, you will need a lot of amount of paint. Now, let's try to make horizontal lines by using wet on dry watercolor technique. This exercise will help you to use wet on dry for detailing, especially for painting the hair in portrait painting and some strong line in landscape painting, especially for branches and grasses. Next, let's try to make wave. Try to do with small pressure while doing the up strokes and add more pressures when you do the down strokes make it as long as possible as you can this practice will help you to control your brush pressure while using wet on dry watercolor technique especially when painting flower petals, leaves, in landscape painting or botanical painting Next, let's make some vertical lines and then diagonal lines. This practice will help you to draw straight lines when doing detailing, without using too much strokes, just like when you are doing some sketches with pencil. That's it for this video. You can redo this practice until you get used to it. On next video, I will be doing demos and giving some step by step how to making artwork by using these two watercolor techniques. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.